This is the road to the castle. Charming reptilians. Very charming. Charming people, I suppose. So this thing here is called, it's a real Templar's castle in Montfort, like Simon de Montfort, the guy who killed all the Cathars in the south of France. Most certainly they called it after him. And Montfort, that's of course Switzerland, the strong mountains it means. Right, let's have a look. Now here it says, so when you speak French, you can read it. And uh, so it was, uh, yeah, in the Provence. Oh, this is the thing here. And so this is a real Templar's castle. Yeah. This Templar's cross. It's not very far from the other one I filmed last summer. And uh, very impressive. It's a big one here. A real big one. It's more important than the other one. Look at the door, it's probably still original, eh? Original door. Bang, bang, bang. Shall I knock on the door? Let's, let's knock on the door and see how that feels, eh? Just like in the old times, yeah. Like. Anybody here? We'll look, look through the keyhole. Nothing. <laughs> hey. and all about it. You can read it if you want. There's another impressive door here. Hey, you see the bastards? Everywhere they got a cross in the window pretending to be monk monks, which they were not. Definitely not. It was the aristocracy. Well, I told you all about it. They were the second and the third sons of the aristocracy who couldn't rule. So they made a war against the first son. These were the Templars, the second, third and fourth sons. Well, I already told you a hundred times. I don't want to repeat it. Well, anyway, this is where the democracy started. You know, the New World Order. The New World Order is nothing else than the, dem than the, uh, the democratic system that the lords can be de de democratically be elected. That's all. There's no democracy for us, only for them. So they can be elected and be the king for a period of four years or five years or seven years. So this is why it all basically started. This is a building of the new world order. It looks pretty old, but this is new. The new world order. Yeah, you got it? against the old world order, against the king of France. And if you see the Templar's cross, which comes from a, uh, a pyramid, which I've shown you, this is actually four times the Templar's V in it here. See? That's on all the tanks. And uh, there must have been something in the middle here. Maybe a swastika or something. Hmm, there's a hole. So, well, uh, apparently, uh, uh, several people have told me here that they, uh, they built a tunnel, which still exists, which is going from here, this castle, uh, maybe 10 miles somewhere to the next village. You know. So if they were in case of being surrounded by the king, which happened, you know, they could all take the shuttle and get out of here. You know. These guys are smart, very smart, and they rule the world. Looks like a fleur de lis. Well, this is the other side of it. The, the door has been made later on, apparently. It has been a prison as well. So the tunnel apparently is going five kilometers to uh, something La Grasse. And it's going to first to the cemetery of this village, Montfort. So this is how they did basically, you know. They just uh, pretended to be monks those second and third and fourth sons and they just built some monastery somewhere you know but there were no monks and this is how they uh, how they were hiding you know from the king and the king was thinking oh what, what are all the monasteries around doing you know it's getting more and more of them <laughs> until it was too late they chopped his head off some prison bars 
Yeah, so this is a authentic Templars castle. It's quite big. And it's all a lot of underground stuff here. You can see that here. There too, you know, going tunnels there. Wonder where that's going to, eh? It's probably the tunnel they're talking about. Well, there's a door. Ah, uh, never mind. Tunnel is a tunnel. Another interesting fact that today the uh, the number of the castle here, the Templars Castle, is number 13. You know, in spite of the fact that the neighbours they are all of a sudden at number 17 because it's so important to them, yeah. Number 13, very important for the Masons. Uh, how many children disappear here, you know, in the restaurant next door, you know, they go eat first and afterwards they go eat first and do some sacrifices here. Nobody will hear you and then go and have a drink afterwards in the same restaurant. These things happen, folks. The aristocracy has always been killing and torturing and doing satanic ritual with us in the base of Switzerland. Hello, son. It's with <laughs> pleasure. Uh, I want to say you that no, my mother is the last woman who is born in the <laughs> castle of Montfort yeah, and the last Templier castle in Montfort. It's the last lady born in Montfort. And, and, what, it, and her name is what? Her last family name? Uh, it's Huguette Lombard. Lombardy in English. So that's aristocratic? Absolutely no. No, oh, okay. no, no. no. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. 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 So here's the road going down from the castle. Very interesting. Probably walls of the castle. Protection walls. Well, this is actually the very entrance to the uh, to the castle here. <clears throat> so apparently this church here was given to the Templars here, Montfort. Oh, look, there's that flag, the Montfort. And there's a red thing. I showed you in Italy as well. On the colonel on his, um, <clears throat> his, uh, his regiment. Here you can see on top, you can see the, uh, the Templars cross here. There you go. Uh, with an eagle. Mm. Yeah, it sort of looks like the red thing, like in the crown, and you know, just like on the uh, on the flag. So I'm back to this Templars castle, and uh, well, I don't want to repeat it all. You know, you just go and see my other films, like Templar itinerary, and you know. But mm, when I was in Strasbourg, I told I talked to the Templar guy who showed who showed himself like on his cell phone in a cloak, a Templar's cloak. It was a real one like the one in the restaurant here and I asked him just to f you know to find out what do they think you know about Switzerland how do they you know so I asked him what does Switzerland mean for the Templars without hesitating he said it's our refuge that's where they went to folks it's been confirmed from all sides historically the Nazis, who didn't take the damn place, they never talk about the damn place, that's where they went, folks. So that's why I made that French film, I called it The Swiss Beast, The Base of the Devil. It says, the commandery of Rue, which is next, pre, next to Lorg, apparently it's in Flyosk. I went there to see there, there's nothing, apparently there's nothing more to see there, so I tried my best, but anyway, this is still here, and uh, they got all rounded up by the uh, the French king, uh, Philippe Le Bel, it's somewhere it's written here, now here it says, on uh, October the 13th, 1307, it was on a Friday, Friday the 13th, Philip the Fair, 
They rounded them all up here. And then they went to the east of France in the, the large forest there, which I show you, to, you know, in my other videos. And then they went to Switzerland. And they're still there. Now they're all over. Yeah, Freemasons. And the French kings, they were on the Loire River, all in the, in the west of France. Okay, that's it. Pharaoh, me. So we are here now in Montfort. I just had a, a stiff walk from Corans to Montfort through the mountains here. And here was the other one in Bras. Here in Villecroze. Here uh, Perasol next to Le Luc. Here's Brignol, where I show you the house. And this is the whole region like um, here is uh, was Marseille, Toulon. Uh, well, the Mediterranean. Like this way is Nice. So it's just like up here. Here was the other Templars Castle I filmed there in the summer, Gréou Le Bain. With on the other side is Manosk, where this is uh, the pentagram and the uh, that painter. So it's here, and here's the the motorway going to uh, uh, to Italy. So I was on my way from Italy and uh, going back, and, uh, and I saw this Templar sign on the motorway. So I got uh, I got off. Yeah. So you got an idea. Uh, Templars, they were Nazi, um, nasty, <laughs> Nazis as well, but nasty buggers really. It's, they were not there, you know, to defend the, like the uh, Christian valors, you know, against those uh, horrible Muslims and whatever they tell us, Hollywood and all the books. It's all crap. They are pharaohs. This is a pyramid, a, two, a 2D pyramid. It's all aristocracy. It's an internal war. We had to fight their wars as the Second World War and the First World War was, was still a transition from the old world order, the old feudal system of the First Son to the New World Order. Uh, show that again, number 13. Not a coincidence. Now, of course, this is, has to, this is supposed to be a line. Look at the mains. You know, it, it is a line. The symbol of the aristocracy. The symbol of pharaonic dignity. It's a foreign power. Yeah, there's always been ruling over us, like Trump, like like all of them, left, right. It's all the same. You know, what's a lion doing here anyway? What is a lion? Here you can see it's a lion. You know. What is a lion doing here? We had wolves and bears. How did they know the existence of a lion? You know. What did they do to us, you know? The European didn't even know what's going on on the other side of the hill there. You know? We are their slaves and we still are. That's why we have an identity number, you know? Um, our identity card. Our slave number. And when there's a control of the knights of the, in, the, in their uniforms, the knights of the king, you know, it's a slave control. There was the lion, here yeah, the Templars. The enemy is not the Arabs, folks. They just invited them, so we fight each other, you know, so they can be quiet, that's all. Uh, I'll show you something interesting, you know, why the oval here? It's far more complicated in the Middle Ages than, you know, make an oval instead of this here, you know. Why an oval? Or why four? You know? Four elements, an oval like in the Oval Office or the Vesi Capaces. And here, why three? Why three? It's not for the construction, otherwise they would have been all over. Or there would have also been an oval here. You know? Or three things here and three things, you know. This is the Trinity. This is Isis, Horus and Seth. And this it uh, you know, it's it, it it says a pyramid here. They're pharaohs with their lions and things, you know. So three is the side of the pyramid, Isis, Horus, and Seth, and four is the base, the four elements, fire, earth, water, and, um, and air. 
and 3 plus 4 makes 7. It's all in the building, they put it in the construction, you know. This is not for the construction, they didn't have concrete in those days or whatever it is, the stone, you know. They didn't have, it's, it's, a, it's a small stone. Maybe there have been three statues on it, well, I wouldn't be surprised. And it's, a, it's a certain form. So this is not enough for the construction. They had wood in those days, no concrete. That this is not concrete, that's stone. Yeah, you see, it's all over. It's not only most people, if they see it at all, you know, they see this here, the Templar's Cross. There is the lion, there's the number three and four, the pyramid, the oval all over. Now, like their descendants, the Freemasons, as they show it today, you know, hey. This is where it all started, and it got all rounded up here, went to the east of France, northeast, and went to Switzerland and be happy forever, until I came around the corner. Hey, Swissy! <laughs> and these things, they don't go all the way through, you know, like concrete, they couldn't even, they couldn't make that, you know, it's only, it's only here. And if it would have been for the construction, they wouldn't, they wouldn't let it out like that, you know, there, there must have been three statues on it. And why actually the French King Philip Le Bel, he round them all up, he did, he did a real coup, you know, in one day, he ran all over France, you know, very organized. But why didn't, so, 16 years before that, in 1291, August the 1st, they found it Switzerland. So why couldn't he get them in Switzerland, eh? He was everywhere. Because the Swissy, Swissy hid them. They had an alliance with them. I told you, Switzerland, Suisse, Sir Isis, they are the sisters of Isis. I'm telling you the truth. They had an alliance and they still have. And then they became the Nazis, the Jesuits, the, the, the Swiss guard of, of the Pope. And now they have Trump. Switzerland is the base of all evil. Just think about the satanic ritual they did in 2016 for the opening of the St. Gotthard. Think about the CERN. The banks, all the ONGs are there. Come on, people, wake up, you know. For the Nazis to invade Poland instead of Switzerland, it's like living next to the central bank and do a hold up on the, uh, on the snack bar next to it, you know. Come on, come on. Switzerland is the base of all evil. They're conspiring against humanity. Monks, monks, come on. Why would a monk put a lie in the symbol of the aristocracy there? Hey, come on, tell me now, eh? The Templars were the aristocracy. They were the second and the third sons who couldn't rule. Right? Uh -huh. Just a coat of arms here, you see? Just like on my Swiss army knife. You see the point down there? The same here on the Swiss Army knife. I went to Switzerland. And as I've been showing you, the Templars have been all over France and they were persecuted in France. So they spoke French. So when they came to Switzerland, they call it Suisse, Sœur d'Isis, the Sisters of Isis. They spoke French, you see? You can see that, their itinerary. From here, they go all rounded up. From here, from this castle and the other ones. They go to the east of France and they went to Switzerland. They spoke French. It all started here. The new, this is the new world order that started here. A new system that all kings, all sons of the king, they can be the king for, for four, five or seven years. You know, or eight years. Or. This is their system. New World Order. This is where it started. Against the First World Order, the, new, the Old World Order, the King of France and the other kings. You know, that sign of the Templars, you know, the two blokes on a, on a horse, you know, it's to show them the other commandery. Uh, it's not the, uh, of some monks who did a vow of poverty. No. 
these, you know, aristocrats, they were so poor, they had to share a horse. So they made it their symbol. So look, you know, we are so poor, we have to share a kingdom. We have to share a horse, like, you know, we're so poor. And they made it their, they, they, they literally had to share a horse. And they got, they, they were so angry, you know. While the king he was having like thousand horses or more, you know, so why not share it? You know, it's, it's all the same blood, you know, same bloodline, and um, so they, they were very pissed off. You know. So this is where the, this, this, that symbol of the uh, the two blocks and the horse uh, basically comes from, because the second and the third sons they didn't get anything. Yeah. See. Side, you see better. It's a coat of arms, you know, like of the uh, like on the Swiss Army knife. See. Quoi? Oui, ta belle-mère, elle, elle était dans cette loge. Oui. oui. Ah ben, raconte. Alors, je te dis une chose. Ma belle-mère était dans les sœurs d'Isis et est toujours dans les sœurs d'Isis. Mais c'est pas pour autant qu'elle les défend à 100%. J'ai ma belle-mère dans les Sœurs d'Isis et j'ai mon beau-père au Front National, très mal perçu par les francs-maçons. So I asked yeah, I asked him here uh, he said his uh, his mother-in-law is in the uh, in a in a secret uh, Freemason lodge and I said oh, that's very rare. And then I, I said well is she in the in the Sisters of Isis? He said yeah, how did you know that? Mais, dans les faits, moi j'adore ma belle-mère, j'adore mon beau-père, parce qu'il a raison sur beaucoup de choses, et ma belle-mère aussi, elle a raison sur beaucoup de choses. Mais, pour moi, ça reste une secte, simplement. Donc, quand votre mère a été born dans le castle, oui Oui. Et en quelle année was ça Uh, my mother is born in. Um, she has a, 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 a seventy now. She's seventy now. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's seventy so now. Seventy, oh, yes. or, yeah, she's like in the in the in the thirties or forties. And uh, wh when you were digging for renovations in the castle, what it, what did you find? It, it was impossible because uh, my 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 Mother? grandfather. Uh, um, uh, it, it was only um, uh, a bank route. Yeah, but you talked about all the skeletons, the dead bodies you found. Oh yes, a uh, skeleton uh, inside. Uh, yes, a lot, a lot, a lot. It, it was a cemetery, um, comment dire? Uh, In the castle? It, of course. Uh, have exactly. you got any other things like to say th weird things about the castle? What what happened more in the castle? Oh, after uh, yes, um, many people say uh, it's a um, uh, phantom uh, haunted. Uh, yeah. Uh, and, uh, mm -hmm. it, my mother uh, live inside the castle, mm -hmm. and she has never uh, see. <laughs> I, I felt something sitting outside on the bench. I felt things. I, I got answers, you know, really. Why really, not? That there is something. Why not? My yeah. mother never. I think when many people died there because it was a prison afterwards, then many people suffer there that there's still some energy, you know. Exactly. Inside. Um, yes. When you must do as a, as a uh, I have a problem in English, um, inside and with everybody, uh, we, we have head uh, inside the wall, you, 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 you cross the big head. Yeah, when yes. there were renovations, you found uh, uh, skulls in the wall. Exactly. Skulls in the wall? Yes. Um, uh, for example, how do you say, an electrician? Um, yeah, yes. Like uh, uh, Pascal. Uh, no, he's uh, not yeah. lui. No, he's not lui. Yeah, yeah. Et, and, and a mason. Uh, and and we have a lot of... 
head with skulls. The big head, yes. And the skulls, they had a hole in their head. So. Yes, yes. Yes, I promise you. So there was one part here, uh, a wall, and another wall, and inside of the two uh, stone, there were all the skulls, like piled up. Yes. Oh, yeah, that, that's satanic, you know? This is satanic. Certainly. So this, this is the Templar's castle. Mm. Okay, thank you. Yes, but um, it's uh, honest. Um, I can try, uh, I, um, I have problem to, to um, have the good world uh, for, for yeah. explain you yeah. mais tu peux le dire en français comme ça en je l'explique oui je l'explique en anglais après. en anglais bon voilà euh, le, le, le truc qui a été le, le, le plus inimaginable c'est quand euh, il restait la tour la tour du château la tour gauche euh, qui restait à mes grands parents et euh, quand ils ont rénové machin et ils ont trouvé des centaines d'ossements humains euh, au sol et dans les murs. Yeah, so he just said where the, the left tower. So alors, alors quand on se trouve devant la, la tour euh, gauche. Oh. Quand, oh. quand on se trouve oh. devant le château. La tour gauche. Oui. So the left tower, if you, if you are in front of the, of the castle, the left tower, mm. uh, when they were doing renovations and put some electricity in it, mm. uh, they found uh, hundreds of skeletons underneath and in the walls. It was piled up with, uh, with skulls. Uh, so this is really is satanic, you know, to get the energy of, of you know, people they killed. Mm. And I, I really, f I feel the, suf the sufferings there. Mm. I felt it today. Et I felt it. Et c'est ma cousine. Now I understand. Et c'est ma cousine qui a hérité de, de ça. Moi, 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 moi je m'en fous. Je, je, je... C'est elle qui est, qui est propriétaire maintenant de toujours d'une de, partie du château complète. Hein, voilà. So it's his cousin who inherited the entire castle. He says, I, I don't care about it. But uh, incredible. A templeless castle. So ma, ma carte il est fini. C'est fini avec filmer le Fontainebleau. So this is incredible what you see there. It's the family Fontainebleau. It's really aristocratic who just got the uh, the permission, the permit, to, to dig into the whole mountain. You know, no nobody is allowed to do this. It's it's like um, a real big uh, you know to, to put vineyards in it. It's all vineyards here in his house here. I got invited by the guys here. So let's finish with this lovely bee here. And three times Isis, the sisters of Isis. Oh. So this is the road going to the castle of Montfort. So um, I came back here. So when I was talking to that Templar there in the restaurant, he gave me, when I left, he gave me the, uh, when I shook his hand, he gave me the Freemason sign with the little finger on my pulse. And um, so, I, so I said, yeah, I understood that, you know, and so he told me he was a nine, a nine degree Freemason, which is nothing. He, said, he, he told me I'm just a little soldier, I'm nothing. And, uh, and then he, he said, well, if you, if you go up the street to the castle, there's uh, the square and compass. Uh, nobody knows who put it there, actually. It's, maybe it's, uh, apparently it's quite old. And um, so, Templars up there in the castle, Templars restaurant, Freemasons, it's all the same bunch, yeah? <clears throat> this one looks very old as well here. And it's all part of the, um, oh, what is this, sort of a church? Part of the, maybe it's a Templar chapel as well. Uh, this is part of the walls, you know, going around the... Uh, around the Templar's castle here. So this is th th was a real Templar's castle. And he also told me, the guy sitting both on a horse, he said, well, in the Middle Ages, uh, during the Crusades, uh, these guys, they, um, <clears throat> as the, uh, the Arabs, the Muslims, they, um, w with a sword or something, they, um, they hit the, uh, the legs of the horse, so the horse fell down. And that's why there was another guy oh. behind who was, uh, was there to, um, to defend.
It was, it was not a, uh, an armor, so it was lighter. I right know it's a strange story. Does, it doesn't, doesn't fit. Now, as I told you, they were poor aristocrats who didn't want to be poor. So here's the square and compass by night next to the Templars castle. The uh, compass, it should be 60 degrees and it represents the number three because with 60 degrees you can do the side of a pyramid. Ah, there's even a G in the middle, you see that? There's even a G for Gola or Golut. Uh, very slightly, usually there's a... And the, um, <clears throat> the square, of course, as you can make a square with it, like the base of a pyramid, because that's 90 degrees and it represents the number four, the four elements. And the number three are Isis, Horus and Seth. So that's why the G usually is in the middle of the square and compass, because the G is the seventh letter. And together, three and four, it makes seven, which is the holy number because of the pharaohs. So this is by night. I show you the the, um, the Templars castle one more time. Uh, the number three and the number four uh, in the wall. So as this is the four, it represents the, uh, the square of the square and compass. And here's the number three, which is the... Um, the compass. So three and four make seven. It says, in other words, it's on top of this building. It shows the uh, square and compass, really. So this is by night. So in this castle here, they used to wall in people, which was a a, a, a medieval uh, tradition. You know, to uh, uh, incredible torture. There's the outer wall and the inner wall, and in between they just. They just close it, you know, put stones in it and concrete or, you know, the materials, you know, to stick it all together. And uh, which is a real nasty thing to do. So these guys are no monks, you know, a monk doesn't do this. Uh, this is the aristocracy. They've always been doing these nasty, nasty, horrible things, you know. And they did it here in a Templar's castle. The line is here, so this is the aristocracy. They used to wall in people. And I think this is this is why I pick up energies. Uh, it's a haunted place, apparently. People say this. It's in a little village, and uh, I pick up things. I get answers. And um, yeah, I ju I'm just sitting here at the bench, and um, I'm just contemplating, and, and it happens, you know, here at the bench here. Fantastic. So down there, just around the corner there, is the, um, the square and compass. It's all related. You know. So the square and compass, they didn't want to put it on the castle, you know, to get themselves, uh, you know, to betray themselves. So they put it there in the symbolism, where's the three and the four. I already explained that to you. And, um, yeah. <sighs> okay, folks. This is, this is the new world order which started here in France, it got perfected in Switzerland and they um, they went over to the S, you know. Oui, j'ai donc euh, quand j'étais jeune vers l'âge de 8 ans, j'ai participé avec monsieur Gérard Couette donc au château euh, à faire des fouilles euh, dans les, les, les la prison, on va dire, euh, ce qui était euh, les résidus d'une prison des du château des Templiers quoi. Mais on n'a jamais trouvé de, de... Avec lui, tout au moins, on n'a jamais eu d'occasion de, de, de trouver d'ossements, de, 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 de casques ou d'épées. Je sais qu'il a ramené des armures, oui, il avait ramené même des poteries euh, pour meubler le château. Il hein. faut savoir un truc, c'est que le château était quand même ouvert euh, depuis la guerre. Hein. Il n'avait pas de porte, tout. Hein, donc, euh, il était assez, euh, comment on appelle ça, euh, livré à à l'air libre quoi et après il y a eu des rumeurs soi disant il y avait la traite le trafic d'armes il y a eu des, des, des histoires de, de, de soirées nocturnes un petit peu euh, sataniques on va dire hein, avec des musiques un peu euh, des, des froides sinistres quoi et ça euh, Ça a été un peu des bruits de couloir, euh, bon, ça a toujours été un côté mythique, ce château, il y a eu, euh, soi-disant, des, 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 comment on appelle ça, des, 
hanté des bruits. Euh... Bref, moi j'y ai dormi, j'ai eu l'occasion d'y dormir hein, parce que bon, il euh, faut savoir un truc, c'est qu'avant il était loué, hein, il y avait quand même des, des, des locations estivales. J'ai eu l'occasion d'y dormir, j'ai jamais rien entendu, il euh, n'y a jamais eu de, de problème particulier. Les murs sont en effet pourvus de cloisons doubles, hein, avec séparation, donc pour pouvoir euh, soit faire de l'écoute euh, ou de l'espionnage, hein, je pensais hein, à l'époque il devait y avoir de l'espionnage, hein, comme il y en a toujours. Et c'est vrai que, hormis ça, il euh, n'y a pas de... de on appelle, il n'y a pas de... de... Donc tu avais, avais 8 ans, euh, parce que tu étais, ouais. oui, étais donc petit, et ils t'ont laissé rentrer dans, dans le double mur pour, pour aller voir ce genre de choses. on allait chercher, euh, parce que je pouvais me, me, me faufiler entre les deux cloisons, bon, ben, c'était les couloirs, il y avait un courant d'air dedans, c'est vrai qu'il y a un sacré courant d'air dedans, parce que bon, ouais. les, les, ça va très loin, hein, je ne sais pas jusqu'où ça peut aller dans le château, hein, puisque je n'ai pas eu l'occasion de tout faire, mais... Euh, Relativement, euh, je pense que tous les étages sont euh, pourvus de, de, de double cloison. Oui, mais à l'époque, des, des autres témoins m'ont dit qu'ils ont trouvé des crânes et des ossements. Et c'est en fait, dans le Moyen-Âge, une pratique d'emmurer des gens vivants euh, derrière le mur. Euh. Probable, probable. Ouais. Moi, je n'ai pas eu l'occasion de les voir. Hein. Je... Ouais. C'était déjà ramassé, peut-être. Oui, parce que comme il, avait, il a été acheté, euh... bon, je pense, dans les années... 50, M. Couette a dû acheter ça hein, dans les années 50, hein, 50-60 peut-être, un franc symbolique, donc c'était vraiment pas cher. Mais il était, il faut savoir, dans un petit état, quoi. Il avait été, euh, les, les, les enfants du village jouaient dans le château euh, à cette époque-là. Euh, parce qu'il était ouvert. Donc là où il y, a, quand il y avait des rumours, donc aussi de euh, trafic de femmes, tu as dit, et, et donc la gendarmerie, ils ont même fait une enquête. Avec il y a eu une enquête, oui, oui, il y a eu une base d'enquête, donc je ne sais pas où ça en est rendu, où, où euh, le, le, <rire> le cursus est parti, euh, est-ce que est, ça a été euh, stoppé, ou... mais je me rappelle qu'on m'avait demandé si j'avais des éléments à fournir, quoi, sur, euh, ah oui. sur les... les les histoires de couloirs, on va dire. Pour une ah, fois, on peut employer le mot de couloir. Littéralement. Oui, oui, oui. De oui, couloir. Oui, les bruits qui courent. Il n'y a, a pas de fumée sans feu. Hein. Non. Euh, non, je pense que euh, le bruit de couloir a dû être amené par quelque chose. Donc. So this guy who's living here, he said there was a, uh, they had very special evenings with CD number plates, American, he said. C'est américain, donc, la plaque CD. Oui, il y a eu une fois une plaque un CD américain. Avec 600, t'as dit. Oui, 6 ou 700. Donc, ouais. euh, so, six ou seven. even American CD number plates here in the, the Templars Castle. And uh, there were rumors about um, arms trafficking and even women trafficking, uh, like uh, white, white slaves, I think, yeah. And the, uh, the, the, the French police, they, um, they did an um, investigation even. So, you know, there's no, there's no fire without smoke, you know. And he said when he was about eight years old, he went into the double wall of the castle and to see if there was something uh, in it, you know, he could, because he was quite small then, eight years old, and he could crawl in between the double wall. And there was a... Uh, was a thing they did in the middle ages you know like lock people like into the double wall and just let them starve they're in it you know to uh to, to wall in somebody and uh, so i mean they were no monks and monks doesn't do that you know that was the aristocracy okay merci beaucoup <laughs> Je rechercherai si j'ai des éléments dans, dans, dans des trucs des fois. Yeah. Je, te, je te tiendrai au courant. Yeah. Il n'y a Thank pas de problème. Quoi. Thank you. De rien. So and here next to the number 13, it shows uh, a little bit still what company is protecting. Who's doing the security work for this castle? I say. SAS. Huh. Yeah. SAS security, also with wings. SAS, what a joke. Well, what, what is the anchor doing here? Oh, SAS. Oh. 
site, prote site protégé par SES Protected. Yeah, 24 hours. It's a phone number in France, which is 0030, uh, 33, I think. Yeah. So the SES guys, they're really next to it, just around the corner. It's not just a couple of miles away. There's the, um, the Chateau of Miraval, where there's Brad Pitt. And uh, the head of security, they're all ex-SES guys, you know. Uh, just killers for the aristocracy. And... Uh, and I know by the French guy that um, uh, Brad Pitt is really nice to everybody there, you know. And uh, so this Mark, what is it, Mark Billingham, the SAS bitch, he just bitched uh, on Brad Pitt and saying really horrible things about him. Not nice. Not nice at all. You should just, you don't do this sort of things. You just shut up. You know, don't don't bitch on each other, you know, on a man who's nice actually you know, with the with his uh, emplo employees and nah yeah they're just the queen's killers the SS you know most of them you know. Rhodesia SAS that's Sea Squadron they're the real ones so here's another French school there's my backpack. <laughs> And apparently, on all French school, it says uh, liberty, equality, fraternity. And uh, well, I'm not going to film that again. Last time, promise. But the interesting thing is that th this is the school in the uh, in the in the village where the in Montfort, where there's the Templars' castle, and this liberty, equality, fraternity, it comes from the Templars. This is quite funny that the, uh, a school having it well they all have it and it means uh, equality they're all sons of the kings they are equal the fraternity we're all brothers now uh, that's why the Freemasons are a fraternity actually and liberty we all have the right to be the king for a period of four five or seven years and we're gonna vote the uh, democratic system and it comes out of the Templars so I just thought it's a funny thing that the Templars castle is just right well, behind here up here Le cave du commandeur. It literally means the caves of the commander. The commander of the Templar, Templars, as in a commandery, as in a commandery. And in the caves they got the wine. Here's a wine press. And guess to who this all belongs to, eh? There, to them. To the aristocracy. So, one more small sequence from the Templars castle in Montfort. So, very strategic, you see. Pharaoh. And the Templars Castle up there. Same bunch.